Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube Station. And we're going to continue along with our 2018 play along or playthrough. And we're on game. What game are we on? Game 53. Oh, the sound check went well. Or that for a moment. We're on game 53 of our Red Sox play along playthrough using Out of the Park Baseball 19. A wonderful game. Highly suggest if you're a baseball fan to pick it up if you like sim games. And pitching today for the Red Sox, Chris Sale. And they'll be opposed by the Atlanta Braves. Louis Gohara is pitching for the Braves. The Red Sox are tied for first place with the Tampa Bay Rays. The Red Sox currently sit at 29 wins and 23 defeats. The Atlanta Braves are 25 and 26. The Red Sox won a thriller in the game I just played. Of course, they played it offline. They came back. They scored eight runs in the bottom of the eighth to win 15 to seven after blowing two leads. So, alrighty. So Chris Sale is on the mound for the Red Sox. He is currently four and three. Not a stellar start to the season. He did almost throw that no hitter when he took the no hitter into the ninth inning against the Baltimore Orioles earlier in the year in our playthrough. That was a great game. He has struck out 67, walked 11. His ERA is 4.12 in 63 and third innings pitched. Let's go to the Atlanta Braves lineup here. Leading off playing center field is Ender Inciarte. Batting second, the right fielder, uh, well known to Red Sox fans as he played for the Orioles before, Nick Markakis. Batting third, playing first base, Freddie Freeman. Batting fourth, Ozzie Alves. Batting fifth, Kurt Suzuki, and he's catching. Alves is playing second. Batting sixth, the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Batting seventh, the left fielder, Ronald Acuna. Batting eighth, the third baseman, Johan Carmargo. And batting ninth, the designated hitter, Ezekiel Carrera. Hello, Max Cornelius in the chat. Hope all is well with you, my friend. Thank you for joining us on this Sunday afternoon baseball. As the Red Sox actually are playing Texas today, um, hoping to win another game in Texas. Great win they had yesterday. That game starts at 3. For the Boston Red Sox starting lineup, playing right field, leading off Mookie Betts. Batting second, the left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. Batting third, the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. Batting fourth, playing third base, Rafael Devers. Batting fifth, the shortstop, Alexander Bogarts. Batting sixth, playing second base, Eduardo Nunez for the slumping Dustin Pedroia. Uh, batting seventh, playing first base, Hanley Ramirez. Batting 8th, the center fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. And batting ninth, doing the catching, Sandy Leon. So behind the plate, we have Leon. 9 out of 10 defense. 9 out of 10 arm. Devers, 7 out of 10 defense. Bogart, 6 out of 10 defense at 3rd and short. Nunez is average at 2nd, 5 out of 10. And Hanley Ramirez, above average at 1st, 6 out of 10. Andrew Benintendi is in left, 8 out of 10 defense, 7 out of 10 arm. Jackie Bradley Jr. outstanding in center, 9 out of 10 for both defense and arm. And Mookie Betts, 9 out of 10 defense, 8 out of 10 arm. An outstanding defensive outfield for the Boston Red Sox of 2018. So Ender in Ciarte steps to the plate for the Braves. And again, if you're not familiar with this, this is a play along, again, using Out of the Park Baseball 19. These teams are not exact because the computer will make trades and we'll pick up players. I, myself, have just picked up a, a pitcher, a left-hander, Zach Dukes. We claimed him off waivers. He pitched very well his first game for the Red Sox out of the pen, and not so good in the game yesterday. All right, so Inciarte is batting two, um, sorry, 328 with one home run and nine RBIs, 8 out of 10 contact, 2 out of 10 power, 5 out of 10 eye. He is a left-handed spray hitter. The Red Sox play their infield, outfield straight away and normal. 
Sale picks up the target from Leon. Here's the pitch to Inciarte. And the ball game is on its way. That's a grounder to Bogarts. He'll throw to first. Out number one. Wow. That was a very close play. As Inciarte was running hard down that line. As you, you can see at it. Uh, Good speed, you know, 7 out of 10 speed. He almost beat it out. So one out, and here comes the dangerous Nick Markakis. He is a left-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox infield will shift hard right. Devers is practically playing shortstop. Now, as you can see, Bogart's behind the second base bag. Markakis likes to swing early in the count. He's batting 330 with three home runs and 26 ribbies. 5 out of 10 contact, 3 out of 10 power, 5 out of 10 eye. Sale. 9 out of 10 stuff, which is quality of pitches, 7 out of 10 movement, and 8 out of 10 contact against left-handed batters. Here's the wind-up and the pitch to Marcakis. And he sends that ball out to right field. That's going to hang up. That's going towards Pesky's pole, but Betts will get there for out number 2. So 2 up, 2 down as Marcakis just got under that. I'm okay, Max Cornelius. Thank you for asking. And here's Freddie Freeman. Freddie batting 303, 13 homers, 29 ribbies, 6 out of 10 contact, 7 out of contact, 7 out of 10 for power and eye. He's a left-handed normal hitter. Chris Sale and the Red Sox looking for a 1-2-3 inning here. Leon wiggles the fingers. Here's the pitch to Freeman. And Freeman punches that ball towards right field that drops in front of Mookie Betts. A two-out single keeps the inning alive. And stepping to the plate, the second baseman, Ozzie Albies. If I pronounce his last name correctly. 301, five homers, 31 ribbies, fives across the board for contact, power, and eye. He's a spray hitter, right handed batter. Friedman being held on at first by Ramirez. Not the fastest runner, but a good base stealer. Sales takes a peek. Here's the pitch to Ozzie. And he grounds it to Nunez, who takes it to the bag himself at second side, retired. Go to the bottom of the first, no score here at Fenway. Due up for the Red Sox, Betts, Benatendi, and Martinez. On the mound for the Atlanta Braves, Luis Gohera. And he is 3-3 three and three with a 3.59 earned run average. He has struck out 45, walked 10. Quality of pitches versus right-handed batters. 6 out of 10. Movement, 5 out of 10. Control, 5 out of 10. He throws strikes, as you can see from his strikeouts. You have Suzuki behind the plate. 5 out of 10 defense, 5 out of 10 arm. Carmargo, very good at third, 8 out of 10. Swanson at shorts average, 5 out of 10. Albies and Freeman, excellent on the right side. Albies, 8 out of 10. And Freeman, the first baseman, 9 out of 10. Ronald Okuna is in left. He's outstanding. 10 out of 10 defense with 8 out of 10 arm. Same thing with Inciarte in center. 8 out of 10 defense. 10 out of 10 arm. And Nick Markake is not too shabby either in right. 7 out of 10 for both defense and arm. So here's Mookie Betts. Betts batting 269, 3 homers, 14 ribbies. 9 out of 10 contact against left-handed pitching. 6 out of 10 power, 7 out of 10 eye. He likes to uh, see some pitches here. He'll be taking. Suzuki sets the target. Here's the pitch to Betts. They go outside. That's ball one. Ahead in the count, Betts bats 368. Behind the count, Gohera gives up a 500 batting average. Gohera nods his head. He sets and deals to Betts. Strike three. Swing and a miss. Strike three. On the 2 2 count. On the 3 2 count. One away. Here's Andrew Benatendi, Red Sox left fielder, batting 251. Four homers, 15 RBIs. Benatendi likes to jump on that first pitch strike he sees. Gohara sets in, deals to Benatendi. Benatendi swings, sends a pop up shallow left field, and ranging way out there is the third baseman. Carmargo, two up, two down. J.D. Martinez steps to the plate. Martinez batting 265, 14 home runs, 32 ribbies. 8 out of 10 contact, 10 out of 10 power, 7 out of 10 eye against left-handed pitching. Martinez also likes to work the count. 
Suzuki sets the target. Here's the pitcher, J.D. Martinez. He's to, oh, they throw over. What happened there? Was there an error? Ben Attendi is on first. I missed something. Let's just go back up in the... Uh, I don't think we can see the replay. Uh, let's go to the box score here. There was an error. He dropped the ball. Game log. I counted my chickens before they hatched. So Carmargo dropped the ball. All right, so there's only one out. Ben Attendi's at first. Freeman holding him on. Ben Attendi, 6 out of 10 base runner. 8 out of 10 stealing ability. The count is even as he has not thrown a pitch to the plate. Gohera looks to first, and now he deals to Martinez, who's taking. And again, they pitch out. We play a lot of hit and run. So they're pitching out. One ball, no strikes. Ahead in the count, 429 batting average for Martinez. He's ready to grip and rip. And attendees at first. Gohera with the windup and the pitch. Martinez swings and he sends that ball down the right field line. And making the diving catch is Nick Marcakis for out number two. And Ben Attendi quickly gets back to first base. Look at this catch that Marcakis missed, robbing Martinez of extra bases and possibly uh, uh, an RBI. As if that gets by Marcakis, that's going to roll around in the corner. So two outs, Ben Attendi will be off on contact. And here comes the MVP so far of the Boston Red Sox, at least offensively. Rafael Devers, 328, 16 homers, 45 ribbies. Devers also likes to jump on that first pitch strike he sees if it's in his zone. O'Hara deals to Devers. Devers swings, sends that ball deep to center field, and that ball is gone! Rafael Devers, number 17, RBIs, 46 and 47. He crushed that fastball. And the Red Sox lead 2-0. And let's watch that replay. You can see Devers just destroys that pitch. That went 4-0-6 to dead center. As Devers touches them all. 2-0 Boston. Fans love it here at Fenway. And I'll bring up the X-Man, Alexander Bogarts. And Bogarts is batting 268, 5 home runs, 32 ribbies, 9 out of 10 contact, 6 out of 10 power, 7 out of 10 eye. Again, Bogarts also will jump on that first pitch strike if it's something he likes. Gohera, a little shaken up on the mound. Suzuki has a quick word with him back behind the plate. Wiggles the fingers. Here's the pitch to Bogarts. They come inside on Bogey. He grounds it to the shortstop who will throw him out at first. Do they get him? Yes, they do. Side retired. But the Red Sox get two on the Devers blast to center. Chris Sale comes back out on the hill to the top of the second with a 2 nothing lead. He'll face Suzuki, Swanson, and Acuna. Kurt Suzuki is batting 204, no home runs, two RBIs, six out of ten contact and power. 4 out of 10 on. He is a right-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox will shift left in the infield. Hanley Ramirez, the only defender on the right side, on the dirt. The wind-up and the pitch from Sale to Suzuki. And he sends up all the other way on the run. Mookie Betts going back, and he makes the diving catch as he lays out on the warning track. What a play by Mookie Betts. One away. Let's watch that web gem again. Suzuki drives that ball the other way. And the diving catch by Betts as Suzuki was uh, going to beat the shift. But Mo Mookie Betts said no. As we only shifted in the outfield, we played our, on the infield, excuse me, we played our outfield straight away in normal. And thank God we did. If we shifted left, that's down the line rattling around. So one out. Now bring up Dansby Swanson, 287, two home runs, 22 RBIs. Another pull hitter here, a right-handed pull hitter in this Atlanta Braves lineup. Once again, shift left in the infield. Swanson loves to jump on the first pitch strike. Sandy Leone wiggles the fingers. Sale nods his head. Here's the pitch to Swanson. 
And that ball is punched to right center field. Coming on is Bradley. He calls off bets. Out number two. And Max Cornelius is nice catch by Betts. Yes, it was. So two outs, base is empty. And here's Sale. He wants that 1-2-3 inning. Ronald Acuna steps to the plate. The left fielder is batting 226 with four homers and 21 RBIs. Six out of ten for contact and power. Five out of ten for eye. He's a spray hitter. He'll use all fields. Sale toes the rubber. Peers in at Leon. Here's the pitch to Acuna. Strike, strike three. Yeah. Looking. Side retired. That's Sale's first strikeout. We go to the bottom of the second. 2 nothing Boston. Due up for Boston. Nunez, Ramirez, and Bradley. Eduardo Nunez has been outstanding in this playthrough. Or play along. Of 2018 season. Using out of the park baseball 19. 321, 4 home runs, 30 ribbies, 7 out of 10 contact, 5 out of 10 power, 2 out of 10 on. He will chase on occasions. Right-handed extreme pull hitter. The Braves play their infield and outfield normal and straight away, though, for Nunez. Nunez likes to work a count. Gohera deals to Nunez. And that's a strike in there. Fastball catches the zone. Behind the count, no problem for Eduardo. He bats 354. This is though this is where Gohera excels though only, he only gives up a .087 batting average. Who shall win this skirmish? We shall see. Here's the pitch to Nunez. Nunez swings, grounds it to third, and I'll be out number one. Nice play by Carmargo. Carmargo does have an error. He dropped that pop up into it would which would be no man's land. Uh, down the left field line. I thought he initially caught it. He called Benintendi out. So one out, no one on for Hanley Ramirez. He's playing first base today. 252, 9 homers, 27 ribbies. Excellent power. 8 out of 10 power for against left-handed pitching. 6 out of 10 contact. And 7 out of 10 eye. Extreme right-handed pull hitter. Braves do not shift. Either in the infield or outfield. Ramirez works the count. Luis Gohara deals to Ramirez. Strike one, fastball in there. No problem. 0-1 count, Hanley bats 280. Gohara picks up the sign from Suzuki. The windup and the pitch. They go outside, Ramirez grounds it to short for outnumbered. Oh, a bad throw! And unable to get it is Freeman. And that will be an error on Swanson. So another error on the Braves. Hanley Ramirez, not the fastest runner, 2 out of 10, but a good base stealer. 7 out of 10 means he reads the ball well out of the pitcher's hand. And I'll bring up Jackie Bradley, 1 out, 1 on for JBJ. The center fielder is batting 213, 5 homers, 24 runs batted in. Left-handed stick. Spray hitter. We're going to play a little hit and run here. Here's the pitch by Gohera. There goes Ramirez. Bradley swings and misses the throw down. And Ramirez is safe with his first steal of the season. So Hanley Ramirez is in scoring position with one out. That counts no balls, two stri strikes on Jackie Bradley. Junior chance to knock in his 25th run. Behind the count, JBJ only bats 125. Oh, Gohera only gives up a .083 batting average. Advantage, Gohera. Suzuki goes through the signs. Here's the pitch to Bradley Jr. And he punches the ball. The Oh, a little soft liner. And the catch is made by Carmargo. I thought that might have dipped in, but it does not. Quickly getting back. The second base is Ramirez. So with two outs, Ramirez will be off on contact. Sandy Leone steps to the plate. The Red Sox catcher is struggling. Batting below 200, 176, one homer, one RBI. Five out of ten contact and power against left-handed pitching. Six out of ten I. Here's the pitch to Leone. Two outs. Ramirez at second. Slow roller. Camargo comes charging in. It's going to be an infield hit for Sandy Leone, who is hustling all the way out of the box. So runners on the corners, we get to the top of the batting order. Mookie Betts, he's 0 for 1. What a catch Betts made. 
in right field, robbing extra bases from the Atlanta Brave batter. Mookie Betts, with runners in scoring position, is batting 273. Here's the pitch to Betts. They throw over and quickly getting back to Leon. Uh, first is Leon. They almost had him. Gohera peaks to first. Now he deals to Betts. Again they throw over. What a move. Leon, not a fast runner, not a good base dealer. Three out of ten for both. But they're paying a lot of attention to him. Two outs, two on. Suzuki sets the target. Here's the pitch, homeward bound. And strike one, good zip on that fastball. 0-1 count. Betts bats 296 behind in the, uh, behind in the count. He's ready to grip and rip. Gohera deals to Betts. Betts swings. Ground ball to short. He'll step on the bag himself. So Swanson does the job there after the error. The Red Sox threaten but do not score. We go to the top of the third. 2 nothing Boston. Due up for the Braves. Camargo, Carrera, and Insignarte. Johan Camargo. He's batting 270, one homer, 12 ribbies, 6 out of 10 contact, 4 out of 10 power, 3 out of 10 on. He is a right-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox will shift left in the infield, outfield, straight away in normal. You can get Camargo to chase. And we'll try that with a pitch around. Sales, kicks, and fires. Swing and a miss! Strike three. Sale expanded the zone, and Camargo obliged. That's Sale's second strikeout. So one out, no one on. And here comes the designated hitter, Ezekiel Carrera. He's batting 310, two homers, eight RBIs, five out of ten contact, three out of ten power, six out of ten I. Sale nods his head. Leon sets the target. Here's the pitch to Correa. Swing and a miss! Another fastball blown by a brave hitter. Sale now has three strikeouts. He has struck out the first two batters here in the top. The third top of the order now. Ender Inciarte steps the plate. He is 0 for 1. Left-handed spray hitter. Sales works quickly. Stays in that rhythm. And he grounds the Bogarts. Good range. Long throw by Bogey. They get him. 1, 2, 3. Go the Braves. Excellent range to his left by Bogarts. And a good strong throw to Ramirez. Bottom of third, due up for the Red Sox, Benatendi, Martinez, and Devers. Andrew Benatendi is 0 for 1. Gohera nods his head. The windup, the pitch to Benatendi. Benatendi swings, grounds it to first. They'll flip to Gohera. The pitcher covering the bag, one down. Nice play by Freeman. Now bring up J.D. Martinez, the designated hitter. He is 0 for 1. Tremendous power hitter. His 14 home runs on the year. He'd like to send one over the monster. Suzuki wiggles the fingers. Gohera rocks and fires. Inside, ball 1. That's where J.D. Martinez likes to be ahead in the count. That's not where Gohera wants to be as he gives up a 486 batting average and Martinez bats 414 advantage. Martinez, can he produce here in this good situation? One ball, no stripes. Here's the pitch to J.D. Martinez. Martinez swings and sends that ball to left field. And is that going to grab some wall? It does not. Nice catch by the left fielder Oku Akuna in the corner. A little jump. And he makes the catch, bangs into the wall a little bit. But there's two outs as Martinez just missed his pitch. And here comes Rafael Devers. He is one for one. He's the reason why the Red Sox have a two-run lead. He had a two-run blast to dead center. Can Devers pick up the second of his game? Luis Gohera looks in. Suzuki sets the target. Here's the pitch to the very dangerous Rafael Devers. Devers swings, and he sends that ball sky high to right. Did he get it all? No, he did not. 
Marcakis makes the running catch right at the wall in right center. Oh, Devers made a bid for his second home run of the game. We go to the top of the fourth, 2 nothing. Boston. Due up for the Braves, the man who just made the running catch, Nick Marcakis. He will be followed by Freeman and Albies. Marcakis is 0 for 1 off Chris Sale. Sale has struck out three, walked none in three innings. Marcakis, left handed pull hitter. The Red Sox will go to a hard shift right. And here's the pitch to Nick Marcakis. And he sends that ball. Deep to center field, JBJ on the run, near the triangle, he makes the catch. One away, excellent range there by Jackie Bradley Jr. And now bring up Freddie Freeman, Freeman's one for one today. Left-handed normal hitter, Red Sox infield, outfield, straight away in normal. You're not going to fool Freeman with a pitch around, so Sale will go right at him. Leon sets the target, here's the pitch to Freddie Freeman. And Freeman bloops one into center field. On comes Bradley. He makes the diving catch, robbing Freddie Freeman of his second hit. This Red Sox outfield is outstanding defensively. Let's watch that catch once again by JBJ. A blooper into center. Here comes Bradley. And the diving catch for the out. So two up, two down. And now bring up Ozzie Albies, who's 0 for 1. Right-handed spray hitter. Second baseman looking for his first hit here in this game. Sales hoping to pick up his fourth strikeout. Let's see if Albies will chase. Leon sets the target. Here's the pitch to Albies. Swing and a miss. Strike three way out in front of the off-speed pitch. As Sales set him up beautifully. And that's strikeout number four to end the top of the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Red Sox lead 2-0. Do up Bogarts, Nunez, and Ramirez. Alan Shaw's in the chat. How are you, my friend? Hope all is well on this Sunday. So, Bogey's 0 for 1 off Gohera. Gohera so far, three innings, two hits, one walk, one strikeout, and the two run homer to Devers. That's the difference in the ball game. Here's the pitch to Bogey. Bogart swings, grounds it to Swanson at short. He's going to have to make a long throw. Bang, bang, play. And they just get bogey. He's not happy with that call. He had the safe signal as he ran across the bag, but the man in blue didn't agree with him. One out. Eduardo Nunez steps to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Right-handed extreme pull hitter. But again, the Braves don't shift in the infield or outfield. Suzuki goes through the signs. Gohera nods his head. Here's the pitch to Nuni. Nunez takes. And that's a strike. Didn't like the call. Didn't like the call. Good framework by Suzuki. No balls, one strike. No problem from Nunez. Bats 347 behind the count. He awaits the Gohera offering. Here's the pitch. Homeward bound. Nunez swings. Punches that ball to center. And that's going to drop in front of Enciarte. So a one-out single for Nunez. He's an excellent base runner. 9 out of 10 speed and stealing ability. And Hanley Ramirez steps to the plate. Suzuki only has a 5 out of 10 arm. We're going to go for a straight steal here. It's a pitch out. There goes Nunez. Oh, he goes back. He didn't like the jump. And that was a ball. So again, we're going to send Nunez. There he goes. There's a throw down. Nunez is safe. That's Nunez's fifth stolen base. He's in scoring position with one out. Two balls, no strikes on Ramirez. Ramirez has the green light. They shift light uh, left for Ramirez as he's an extreme pull hitter and a power hitter. That's in the infield. Outfield normal. Gohera deals to Ramirez. Ramirez swing and a miss. He was out in front of that pitch. Took a little something off of it, so now there's two outs. Nunez will be off on contact, and JBJ, Jackie Bradley Jr., comes to the plate. He's played some outstanding defense today, as always. Bradley, with runners in scoring position, has struggled, only batting 222. Alan Shaw says, I, I'm good. Long weekend with a bank holiday. Go Sox. Excellent, Alan. Thank you for joining myself and Max Cornelius in the chat. Always good to see you, my friend. So, again, Bradley struggles with runners in scoring position. Does like to jump on that first pitch strike if it's in his zone. 
Here's the pitch to Bradley. And he punches that ball to the left. That's going to drop in there. Nunez is being waved around and will score. 3-0 Red Sox as the throw uh, from Okuna went to uh, Swanson, the cutoff man, the shortstop. So Jackie Bradley Jr. picks up a ribby. That's RBI 25 for Jackie. 3-0. And Sandy Leone, the catcher, the number nine batter, steps to plate. He's one for one. He had an infield hit. Here's the pitch to Leone. And he walks. Good job. Doesn't chase on the 3-1 count. Top of the order now. Two on, two outs. Bradley's at second. Four out of ten speed. Uh, Leone at first. Three out of ten speed. And Mookie Betts steps to plate. He's 0 for two. Betts has 15 RBIs on the season and three homers. Runners in scoring position, 261. Gohara takes a breath on the mound. The windup and the pitch to Betts, he's taking. Off speed pitch in there. Another good job by Suzuki framing it. No balls, one strike. Betts ready to grip and rip. Will he send one out over the monster? We shall see. Here's the pitch to Betts. They come inside, it gets away, runners will advance. Bradley to third, Leon to second. The count's now one ball, two strikes. I'm looking at base hit, might score two. I don't know, Leon is a slow runner. Though he has those extra steps, he'll be off on contact with two outs. Suzuki goes through the signs, Gohara nods his head. He rocks and fires. Betts swings, punches that ball, left center field on the run, and no, he will not get there. Two runs will score on the Mookie Betts. Two out single. He now has picked up RBIs 15 and 16. As Acuna could not get to the ball, it dropped in shallow left center field. 5 nothing Red Sox. As Gohara is on the ropes and right about to be knocked out if Andrew Benintendi can get a hit here. Benny is 0 for 2. Pets will be off on contact. Excellent base runner. Uh, 7 out of 10 speed. 8 out of 10 stealing ability. And we're going to send him. There goes Betts. There's the throw down. And he is safe. Another stolen base on Suzuki's arm. He's only 5 out of 10. He's in scoring position for Andrew Benintendi. Looking to pick up his 16th RBI. Benintendi, with runners in scoring position, is batting below 200, 163. No balls, one strike. Gohera deals to Benintendi. Swing and a miss, strike three. Betts is stranded at second, but the Red Sox pick up three as we go to the top of the fifth. Five-nothing Boston over the Braves. Due up for Atlanta. Suzuki, Swanson, and Acuna. Suzuki is 0 for 1 today. Sales has gone four innings so far. He's only given up one hit, walked none, struck out four. Sales gets the sign. Here's the pitch to Suzuki, but before that, he is a right handed pull hitter. Will shift left in the infield, outfield straight away and normal. Suzuki goes down looking on the 2 2 count. Sales took a little something off that. Hit the zone he wanted. So that is Sales' fifth strikeout. He's thrown 48 pitches. One out here in the top of the fifth. That'll bring up Dansby Swanson. The shortstop is 0 for 1 and has made a throwing error. He's a right-handed pull hitter. So once again, the Red Sox infield will shift left outfield straight away in normal. Leone sets the target. Sale deals to Swanson. And he walked him. So that's the first base on ball by Sale. 5 nothing Red Sox. Swanson, a very good base runner. 6 out of 10 speed, 6 out of 10 stealing ability. Ramirez holding him on, and Ronald Acuna steps to the plate. Acuna is 0 for 1. Spray hitter, right-hander. Red Sox moving to double play depth. So Bogarts and Nunez pinch the middle. Sale throws over. He was leaning. Oh, he just gets back in time. As Ramirez applied the tag to Swanson just a little too late. 
Sale will pitch from the hold runner position. Here's the pitch to Acuna. They come inside. There's a throw down by Leon. And he got him. He is gunned down by Sandy Leon. That's seven out of 13 base runners, he has said, shall not pass. And there are two outs now on the failed stolen base attempt by Swanson. So Acuna will now bat with bases empty and two outs. The count on Acuna is one ball, no strikes. The windup and the pitch from Chris Sale. And that ball is a line shot to center. JBJ is there. Side retired. Go to the bottom of the fifth. Five nothing Boston. Two up for the Red Sox. J.D. Martinez, Rafael Devers, and then Alexander Bogarts. J.D. Martinez is 0 for 2. Luis Gohera is still on the mound for the Braves. He's gone four innings, five hits. Only three earned runs. There have been two errors behind him. He has walked one, struck out three, and he's given up a two-run blast to Devers. Here's the pitch to J.D. Martinez. Martinez swings and sends the ball down the line past the diver. Freeman, he's digging hard for two. He might think three. He's going for three. Here's the relay throw. Not in time. J.D. Martinez has his second triple of the year. Let's watch that again. Hustling all the way. Down. Line shot. Hit one hopper past Freeman. Marquecas digs it out in the corner. Had a little difficulty. The relay throw by the second baseman. Not in time. Martinez, a leadoff triple. And here comes Rafael Devers. Devers one for two. A two-run homer. He just missed his second home run. Got under it just a little bit when Marquecas made the running catch on the deep ball. Right center field. Right in front of the wall. To end that inning. And that's it for Mr. Gohera. The triple knocks him out of the game. In to pitch now for the Braves, Sam Freeman, and he has one win, two losses, no saves. He has struck out 28, walked 15, earned run average, you wouldn't say stellar, 6.37. He's a left-handed pitcher to face Raphael Devers, a lefty batter, but Devers is batting 273 off lefties, and he's one for one off Freeman in this series, and guess what the hit was? A home run yesterday. Here's the pitch from Freeman to Devers. Devers swings and he got jammed, popped up. Camargo calls off Swanson and catches it near the mound for out number one. Martinez still at third, one away for a Xander Bogarts. He's 0 for 2. Bogey looking for his 33rd RBI on the season. He has struggled against left handed pitching, 220. Runners in scoring position, 294. Bogarts awaits the Freeman offering. Here's the pitch, homeward bound. And Bogey works a walk on the 3-2. So they pitch very carefully. Maybe they're trying to set up the double play ball, but now you have the very hot-hitting Eduardo Nunez. He's one for two today. And batting 300 off left-handed pitching and batting 400 with runners in scoring position. Here's the pitch to Nunez. First pitch strike. Again, nice framework by Suzuki. No balls, one strike. Nunez digs in. The windup and the pitch from Freeman. And Nunez grounds it to short. Can they turn two? Yes, they do. Swanson to Albies over to Freeman, the first baseman. As Nunez was hoping to beat it out. So the Red Sox get a leadoff triple by Martinez, but failed to score. We go to the top of the six. Five nothing Boston. Do up for the Atlanta Braves, Carmargo, Carrera, and Inciarte to face Chris Sale. Five innings for Sale, only one hit, one walk, five strikeouts. No runs have come across the plate for the Braves. Carmargo is 0 for 1. He's a right-handed pull hitter. Red Sox shift left in the infield. Outfield straight away and normal. Sale deals to Camargo. Strike. Swing and a miss. Strike three on the one-two count. Blew the fastball by him. 95 miles per hour. That's strikeout number six for Chris Sale. Ezekiel Carrera steps to the plate. Carrera's 0 for 1. Left-handed normal hitter. 
Red Sox infield outfield straight away in Norma. Leon sets the target. Here's the pitch to Correa. Swing and a miss! Strike three! That's seven on the day for sale! On the old two count, blows the fastball by him. Actually, I'm sorry, off speed pitch. Off speed pitch, 81 miles per hour. I have a bad habit. I look up there before I click. So, five and two thirds. Sales has struck out seven. Looking for his eighth victim, the leadoff batter, Ender Inciarte, who is 0 for 2. Right hand spray hitter. And Ciarte awaits the sale offering. Here's the pitch. And he sends that ball out to right field towards Pesky's pole. And Mookie Betts is right there to make the catch. He had to run a long way for out number three. We go to the bottom of the six. Five nothing Boston. In the chat, Bleacher Bums Gaming has joined us. Anthony from Bleacher Bums Gaming. Happy Sunday, my friend. How are, how are you and your family and Duke and Daisy? That's a wonderful channel. Check that out. He has the time machine going using Stratomatic card and dice where the 1922 uh, St. Louis Browns travel of the 1977 season and take the place of the Blue Jays. Great series. Love it. Enjoy it. He also has the 1969 Cubs replay, mainly focusing now around Ferguson Jenkins starts. And... He also does something I enjoy. He loves the dead ball era, and he'll do little bios on players. It's a lot of fun. Check that station out, Bleacher Bums Gaming, as well as Max Cornelius. So we have Max Cornelius in the chat, Alan Shaw, and Anthony from Bleacher Bums Gaming. Thank you very much, gentlemen. And we have a six, uh, excuse me, five nothing lead. Bottom of the six, due up for the Red Sox. Ramirez. Bradley and Leone. Hanley Ramirez is 0 for 2 today. Sam Freeman on the mound. Taking over um, pitching duties last inning. Here's the pitch to Hanley Ramirez. He's taking. They go outside. He does not chase. One ball, no strikes. Brave shift left in the infield. Outfield normal. Suzuki wiggles the fingers, sets the target. Freeman kicks and fires. And Ramirez goes down looking, and once again, Suzuki frames the job beautifully. Hanley is shaking his head, mumbling some words to himself, but mostly for the man in blue behind the plate. And that is Sam Freeman's first strikeout. He'll now deal with JBJ, Jackie Bradley Jr.'s one for two with a ribby, and some outstanding defensive plays in center field today. Freeman picks up the sign from Suzuki, the windup and the pitch. They come inside and a swing and a miss by Bradley on the 1-2 count. Another strikeout this inning for Freeman. So two outs, base is empty for the catcher, Sandy Leone. He has walked and had an infield hit. Suzuki sets the target for his counterpart. Here's the pitch to Sandy Leone. Leone swing and a miss. Strike three. Freeman strikes out the side. Top of the seventh. Five nothing Boston. Due up for the Braves. Marcakis. Freeman. That's Freddie Freeman, the first baseman. And Albies, the second baseman. Nick Marcakis is 0 for 2. So far, Chris Sale, six innings, only one hit. He's walked one, struck out seven. Let's go to the chat real quickly. Bleacher Bums Gaming says, started the Satchel Page Barnstorming Tour today as well. I forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me. Where he takes a, a Negro League, like all-star teams, and they barnstorm. That's going to be a lot of fun. Is that up on the channel now? And Anthony says, thanks for the kind words. Well, as always, always, my friend. All righty. So Nick Markakis will face... Chris Sale, Marcakis, right-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox go hard shift right in the infield. I don't like to shift my outfield much. Again, Marcakis 0 for 2. Sale nods his head. The windup and the pitch to Marcakis. He went! Strike 3! That's number 8 for Sale. 
Marquez could not hold up, and they'll bring up Freddie Freeman. He's one for two. He has the only hit off Chris Sale. He's a left-handed normal hitter. Red Sox infield, outfield, straight away in normal. Sale peers in at Leon. Nods his head. Here's the pitch to Freddie Freeman. Freeman gets his second hit. A shot down the line. He's going to challenge Mookie Betts' arm. Here's the throw, the slide. He is safe with a one-out double. So Freddie Freeman has both hits off Chris Sale. Sale not happy with himself, shaking his head, rubbing that baseball. So one out, Freeman's in scoring position for Ozzy Albies. Albies is 0 for 2. Sale up to 75 pitches. He's still looking good. Albies digs in that right-hander's batter's box. Here's the offering from Sale. And Albies lines it past the dive of Ramirez. And they will hold the runner at third, Freddie Freeman. They do not challenge Mookie Betts' arm. So this is the first time Sale has been in any difficulty now. So 5 nothing Red Sox, one out, Freeman at third, Albies a very good base runner at first, Ramirez holding him on, and Kurt Suzuki comes to the plate. Suzuki can be a dangerous hitter, though he's batting below 200, and he only has two RBIs. He is a right-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox have some uh, grumbling, or well, how's that, what's the wording I want to use? Some motion in their bullpen. As Kelly's tired. Zach Duke I just picked up off waivers. He had a good first outing. But yesterday, not so good. So we're not bringing him in. The Braves lefties basically destroyed him yesterday. Uh, Barnes hasn't pitched in a few days. We are in the bottom of the seventh. So, you know what? We're going to get Barnes up. Embry pitched the ninth yesterday. We'll get Embry up also. Don't want to blow any of these games. Uh, speaking of our bullpen, Chris Sale has eight saves and eight, uh, seven blown saves. I'm sorry, uh, Craig Kimbrell has saved eight games and blown seven. Our bullpen has not been stellar. If it has been stellar, we'd be in first place as opposed to tied for first place with the Tampa Bay Rays. So Suzuki's at the plate, one out, two on. Up in the pen are Matt Barnes and Heath Hembry for the Red Sox. The Red Sox will move into double play depth. Actually, no. Uh, he's a pull hitter. They will shift left in the infield. Outfield straight away in normal. Ramirez holding Al Albies on at first. Sale deals to Suzuki. There goes the runner. Swing and a miss. The throw down by Leon. And not in time. Albies steals his 10th base, so now there's two runners in scoring position. And that was a strikeout. So that's the ninth strikeout by Sale. So Sale gets Suzuki for strikeout number nine. So there's two outs now. And Dansby Swanson steps to the plate. Right-handed pull hitter. Needs to make up for that throwing error. And he can. Not much power. Three out of ten power against left-handed pitching. He does have two home runs, though. And the wall always looks inviting. To a right-handed batter at Fenway. So two outs, two on. Red Sox shift left in the infield. Sale nods his head. The big wind-up and the pitch to Swanson. And that ball's going up the middle past the dive of Nunez. And two runs are going to score. Here's the throw at the plate. Wait a second. And the tag is not in time. It's 5-2. to two, So Swanson makes up for that error. A two-out single knocking into, and the Braves are finally on the board. 5-2 to two, Boston. Swanson will be held on by Ramirez as both Barnes and Hembry are ready, and Sale is up to 91 pitches. And this is, we've he struggled in this uh, play-along playthrough, as I call it, using out-of-the-park baseball 19. Ronald Acuna comes to the plate. He's gotten him twice. Sale has struck out nine batters. He's up to 91 pitches. This will be his last inning. Let me think about this for a second. Acuna only bats 163 off lefties. Let's just check. He, obviously, he must hit much better against righties. And 240. So, Sale will go after Acuna. 
as we don't have uh, Zach Duke warming up, so we have two righties. So Barnes and Embry are ready. This will be, hopefully, an out ending the top of the seventh. Acuna digs in the windup and the pitch from Chris Sale. Oh, he hit him. So Sale is out of sorts now. And that's and now comes Yo, uh, Johan Camargo steps to the plate. And that's going to be the day for Chris Sale. As if Camargo goes yard, it's a tie ball game. And we're not going to... Here comes Matt Barnes. Matt Barnes will come in for Sale. And Hembry will sit down. In the chat, we have Kenny Price. How are you, Kenny? Long time no chat, my friend. Hope all is well. Go to that replay site I've shown you before, Kenny. Uh, it's uh, replays or something. If you go back through, you've, a uh, you've asked questions. It's the same place where you go for pictures. They have ballparks, too. Again, hope all is well, Kenny. All right. So, Johan Camargo steps to the plate. Barnes is done with his warm-up tosses. Matt Barnes, two wins, three losses, two saves, 2.88 earned run average. He has struck out 28, walked eight. Johan Camargo bats 278 off right-handed pitching, but Sale is struggling after cruising along for six. And let's give you, he's responsible for the runners on. There's two runners on, Swanson at second, Acuna at first. Let's give you his final numbers, except, again, he's responsible for those two runners, so they're not really final yet. Sale went six and two-thirds, responsible for the two runners on. Four hits, two runs. They were both earned. Walk one, struck out nine, but he just struggled in the seventh. Couldn't get that final out. So it's up to Matt Barnes here as he faces Johan Camargo. This is the first time Barnes and Camargo will clash. Camargo, left-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox will shift right guard third base, so Devers will guard third base. Barnes is ready. He deals to Camargo. That ball gets away. Oh, runners advance second and third now. So they're in scoring position, both runners now for Johan Camargo. The counts one ball, no strikes. Camargo only batting 225 with runners in scoring position. Barnes has to settle in here. Leon pounds the mitt. Sets the target. Barnes deals to Camargo once again. And ground ball to Nunez. He throws to Ramirez. Low throw. He scoops it out of the dirt. Side retired. We go to the seventh inning. Bottom of the seventh. The seventh inning stretch. Five to two Boston. The Braves got on the board with two in threatened. But Barnes came in to put out the fire. Root, root, root for the home team. If they lose, it's a shame. One, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. And that's for Chris from Stratomatic, Delaware, Anthony from Bleacher Bums Gaming, and Clinton Parks. They all like to sing the Take Me Out to the Ball Game song. Check out those wonderful channels. As well as Max Cornelius, ID Gesture, and Higher Ground Gaming. Alrighty, back to the ball game. It's now 5-2. to two. A few anxious moments for the Red Sox and their fans here at Fenway. But they got through it thanks to the help from Matt Barnes. Due up the top of the order for Boston. Betts, Benintendi, and Martinez. Mookie Betts is one for three, and the new pitcher for the Braves is Rex Brothers. One win, no losses, no saves. He's thrown 19 in the third innings, striking out 20, walking 19, 2.79 earned run average. Quality of pitches, 10 out of 10. Movement against right-handed batters, 6 out of 10. Control, not so good, 2 out of 10. So you want to take pitches against Mr. Brothers, as sometimes he throws like a Smothers Brothers. Here's the pitch to Betts taking all the way. And the changeup gets in there. No balls, one strike. Brothers picks up the sign from Suzuki. 
He sets in deals. Bet swings, grounds it to Swanson at short. Long throw in time, one away. Good range shown by Swanson. As he had to come in to his left and then quickly throw. Here's Andrew Benatendi. He'd like to get off the Schneid. He's 0 for 3. Rex Brothers nods his head. The windup and the pitch. And Ben Attendi goes down looking on the 1 2 count. Fastball. Ben Attendi must have been looking off speed. Couldn't pull the trigger on that pitch. Two outs, no one on. And JD Martinez steps to plate. Martinez is 1 4 3. Here's the pitch to JD. Martinez swing and a miss, strike three. So Rex Brothers definitely did not pitch like a smother Brothers. He gets the Red Sox one, two, three. We go to the top of the eighth, five to two Boston. Back out on the hill as Matt Barnes took over for Chris Sale. And he will face Ezekiel Carrera in the top of the order in Cienarte and then Nick Marcakis. Carrera is 0 for 2. He's probably happy to see Sale go bye-bye. Left-handed normal hitter. Red Sox play their infield, outfield, straightaway and normal. Barnes deals to Carrera. And he punches that ball to left field. That's going to drop in front of Andrew Benatendi. Get down the line. But Benatendi digs it out quickly. And retreating back to first is Ezekiel Carrera. He has a leadoff single. And now Ender Insignarte steps to the plate. The center fielder's 0 for 3. Left-handed spray hitter. The Red Sox shift into double play depth. With Bogarts and Nunez pinching the middle. Ramirez holding uh, Carrera on at first, who's an excellent base runner. And we're going to go with the pitch out. And he goes nowhere. One ball, no strikes. Barnes throws over to first. They had him leaning. Oh, he gets back. Barnes will pitch out of the hold runner position. Leon sets the target. Here's the pitch to Insignarte. And he swings and he drives that ball to the right center field gap. That's going to get down and grab some wall. Betts gets to it. And he throws to Bogarts, the cutoff man. I'm sorry, Nunez, the cutoff man. And now second and third. No outs. Tying run comes to the plate in Nick Marcakis. And once again, quickly, the Sox get their pen up. And Zach Duke will get up. As well as Craig Kimbrell. So the Red Sox came back twice to defeat the Braves yesterday in a thriller as they scored eight runs in the bottom of the eighth and won 15 to uh, eight. <laughs> and now the Braves are hoping a turnabout is fair play. They trail by three, five to two, no outs, top of the eighth, two runners on, and Marquez is at the plate. He's 0 for three. He's batting 363 off right-handed pitching. Oh boy. visit the mound I'm still strong says um, Barnes as Dukes and Kimbrell continue to warm all right come on on deck is Freeman Barnes nods his head Leon sets the target here is the pitch to Nick Marcakis so we're going to play Shift right, guard third base. With runners at second and third. The pitch comes homeward bound. Marquecas swings and sends that ball deep to center field. Jackie Bradley Jr. making the run towards the China. He makes the leaping. No, it goes off the wall. Did he make the catch? Yes. Out number one. Wow. So the umpires meet. They go to the replay and they signal out as Bradley Jr. says he caught the ball and he did. The runner from third scores and Insignarte tagged from second and went to third. So Carrera scored. Marcakis 
will get an RBI, but was robbed of extra bases. Let's watch that play by JBJ. There's the drive to the triangle in center field. Bradley Jr. on the run. He leaps, bangs into the wall. And there is some confusion whether he caught the ball or nicked the wall. He caught it. The replay clearly shows it. So it's now a 5-3 to three ball game. Tying run at the plate and Freddie Freeman. One out. And Ender Insignarte is at third base. Barnes is up to 23 pitches. Zach Duke is ready. Oh, he got smacked around by the Braves lefties yesterday. And Freeman actually crushes uh, left-handed pitching. Is it Craig Kimbrell time? That would be five outs. And he has not been stellar. <laughs> so Matt Barnes, we're going to sit Duke and Kimbrell just for a moment because they can tire out. I play with the warm-up rule. All right. One out. 5-3, tying run at the plate and Freddie Freeman. Barnes is ready. He kicks and fires to Freeman. Oh, he hit him. As Red Sox pitch, that's his second hit batter for Red Sox pitching. And the good news is it sets up a double play. Here comes uh, Ozzy Albies. And let's get our bullpen up again. So Duke is up, and we'll get Kimbrell up. They're both ready. Let's check out Ozzy Albies against righties, 280. God, he's a lefty. He murders left-handed pitching, too. That's why they killed Duke yesterday. They murder left-handed pitching, the left their lefties do. Yeah. Uh, Kimbrell's coming in the game. That's why we pay him the money. Kimbrell will come in. Zach Duke will sit down. Craig Kimbrell, no wins, no losses. He does have nine saves. I said eight saves. I apologize. Uh, he has blown seven saves, though. He's thrown 26 in third innings. Striking out 40, walking 17, 2.05 earned run average. Moment of truth here for the Boston Red Sox. In this game, and Craig Kimbrell. One out, two on, and Ozzy Alby steps to plate left handed, uh, or steps back in the box as Kimbrell's done with his warm up tosses. Left handed spray hitter. Red Sox will move to turn two in the infield with Bogarts and Nunez. Kimbrell looking for a strikeout here. Hunched over, arm out, the wind up, and the pitch to Albies. And Albies sends a fly ball right center field. Jackie Bradley Jr. on the run. He makes the catch, but it's plenty deep enough to score the runner from third, and it's a 5-4 to four game. The Braves have scored two runs in the seventh and now two runs in the top of the eighth and pulled it within one, and Kurt Suzuki is at the plate, right-handed pull hitter, and he struggles against righties, 2-11. So Kimbrell needs one more out to get out of the top of the eighth, and the Red Sox will be clinging to a one-run lead. They once had a five-run lead, and that's down to one. Red Sox infield will shift left. Hanley Ramirez holds on Freddie Freeman. Kimbrell's ready once again. Here's the pitch to Kurt Suzuki. And it's punched through to the left side. Bogarts couldn't make the lunging play. And now there's two on. Two outs. Friedman represents the tying run at second. Suzuki, the go-ahead run at first. And Dans B. Swanson, the man who made the error but got, a dis got the scoring started for the Braves um, with a single that knocked in two back in the bottom, the top of the seventh. Base hit could tie the game here. Two outs. Runners will be off on contact. Kimbrell hoping not to blow his eighth save opportunity. Nods his head. Leon sets the target. Here's the pitch. To Swanson, who is a right-handed pull hitter. Red Sox shift left in the infield. 
Here's the pitch homeward bound to Swanson. Swing and a miss. He went too far. Kimbrell does it. We go to the bottom of the eighth. But the Braves creep closer. It's now 5-4 to four Boston. And stepping out on the hill for the Atlanta Braves, Jose A. Ramirez. And again, we've had some difficulty loading pitchers here for the Braves. As three or four of their players, the pitchers won't load. And I have to figure out why. It's pretty straightforward. I put the name in exactly like it's stated. Uh, maybe I have to get rid I've tried it. You know what? I'm going to go in and actually edit the name in Out of the Park. 19. I'll get rid of the A. I think that's the issue, but I've done it with the period. I've done it without the period. I, I've typed it in exactly the same. And I, I've done the underscores. So, we'll just get rid of the A, maybe. Or put a 1 on the end of the name or something. I don't know. Alright, do up for the Red Sox. Devers, Bogarts, and Nunez. As Beecher Drums Gaming says, getting tight. I have faith, though. As Regards to the game, yeah, the Red Sox in my play-along playthrough, they've been very exciting. The bullpen has not been stellar <laughs> for my 2018 Boston Red Sox. Devers has been outstanding. He's the MVP of the team, possibly of the league uh, so far. Devers, again, if you've just joined us, 17 home runs. He had a two-run blast to dead center. It's 406. 47 RBIs, 328 batting average. Left-handed pull hitter. And he likes to jump on that first pitch strike if it's in his zone. Jose A. Ramirez, two wins, no losses, one save. Uh, he has struck out 37, walked 14. Quality of pitches against left-handed pitching, 7 out of 10. That's very good. Movement, 5 out of 10. His control a little below average, uh, 4 out of 10. And he doesn't give up much on that first pitch. But we're going to have Devers ready to grip and rip as we don't like to hold the youngster back. Suzuki sets the target. Ramirez deals to Devers. Red Sox up by one. Swing and a miss on the 2-2 count. Blew the, uh, set him up with the fastball and then came with the off-speed pitch. And Devers was way out in front. So one up, one down for Ramirez, rubbing up the baseball on the hill. And I'll bring up Alexander Bogarts. The shortstop's 0 for 2. Here's the pitch to Bogey. And he grounds one to deep short. Swanson has it. Long throw. The stretch. And they just get him. Nice stretch by Freeman at first base. So two up, two down. Eduardo Nunez will bat. He will not come out to play the field. Um, Pedroia will come in for defensive purposes. So hopefully Nunez can get his second hit. He's one for three today, batting 321. Nunez likes to work it count. The windup and the pitch from Jose Ramirez. Inside. And Suzuki's framework does not get the call there. One ball, no strikes. Ahead in the count. Nunez bats 358. Can he jack his fourth home run or a fifth home run over the monster and give the Red Sox a little cushion? Ramirez picks up the sign from Suzuki. Here's the pitch to Eduardo Nunez. And he bloops one into left center field for his second hit. His hot hitting continues. That's why I have to put him in the lineup. Yeah, I, I, I've played him at second. I've played him in left. I've played him in right. I've played him at short, third. He just keeps hitting in this in this play-along playthrough. I've got to get him in the lineup. When you have Pedroia slumping uh, and Brock Holt is not a, a – he hits okay, but uh, I, I'm always finding places to put Nunez. And he's an excellent base runner. And with two outs and Hanley Ramirez at the plate, Extreme pull here. This will be Ramirez's last at bat. As Ramirez actually hits right, he's better than lefties. 281. As we'll replace Ramirez with Moreland at first base. And we're going to send Nunez. It's a pitch out. There goes. Nope. He, he went back. He didn't like the read he got. One ball, no strikes. We're going to send Nunez again. There goes Nunez. There's a throw down by Suzuki. That's a close play. And Nunez is safe. His six stolen base in nine attempts. He's in scoring position. Huge insurance run here uh, for the Red Sox. So Hanley Ramirez hoping to pick up RBI number 28. He would love 29, which would mean he hit a home run. It counts two balls, no strikes. And Ramirez will have the green light. Here's the pitch to Hanley. Inside, Ramirez grounds at the Swanson at short. And they will get him out at first side retired. We go to the top of the ninth. Craig Kimbrell back out on the mound. He 
Got the final two outs in the bottom of the eighth. This is where he struggled, though. We can't really go... I mean, we're in trouble here. When he goes past 20 pitches, he's got awful. And he gets close to 20. So now I have to actually get my bullpen back up. Zach do I mean, uh, Heath Hembry. I have Heath Hembry. Joe Kelly has pitched marvelously for us. But he's tired. So Heath Hembry, just in case, is light tossing in the pen. In the chat, joining us is D. Scott Howard. He says, hello, guys. Taking a halftime break from Classic E. El Classico. Excellent. Thank you for joining us. Good friend of the channel, D. Scott Howard from the Pacific Northwest. All right, so Ronald Acuna steps to play to be followed by Camargo and Carrera. Acuna is 0 for 2, right-handed spray hitter, and I think we're going to play guard the lines. Guard the lines in the infield. Outfield straight away and normal. Kimbrell hunched over, arm out. The windup and the pitch to Acuna. Oh, my God. And he hits Acuna. That's a third batter. Red Sox pitching his hit. And we've put one of the fastest men in baseball at first base, and he represents a tying run. Thank you, Craig Kimbrell, as he's going to implode once again in my game. In my game. He's pitching pretty good in real life. Uh, so I'd rather him pitch real good in real life in my game. <laughs> Love Craig Kimbrell. <laughs> so Johan Camargo steps up, played he's 0 for 3. Left-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox will shift right. We're not going to go into a hard shift right. Oh, boy, I forgot to switch my defenders. So let's just pretend I actually switched defenders before the inning started. So at first coming in to play defense is Mitch Moreland for Hanley Ramirez. And Pedroia, you can see Dustin is ice cold. You can see the little the snow emblem. And he's going to come in to play second for Nunez. And let's just pretend I did that and the players aren't upset because I took him out of the field. Okay. And you can see the, the defense on the right side is 8 out of 10 at second and 9 out of 10 at first. All right, so Camargo is at the plate. And late in the game, Camargo struggles. He only bats 196. We're hoping to get a double play ball here as we're going to shift right. Actually, we're going to go hard shift right. I'm not going to change things. Hard shift right. So Devers is playing shortstop. Kimbrell deals to Camargo. And he that's a shallow fly ball in center. JBJ comes in and he makes the running catch. One away quickly getting back to first base is Acuna as Bradley thought about throwing towards first but then threw into Pedroia. So one out, tying run at first. That's Acuna, an excellent base runner. And Ezekiel Carrera steps to the plate, left-handed normal batter. Red Sox shift to double play depth, as now Bogarts and Petroya pinch the middle. Kimbrel throws over! Oh, we almost got him leaning. Almost got him. He gets back safely, so we're going to pitch out of the hold now. Kimbrel looks to first. Now he deals to Carrera. Swing and a miss! Strike three! He extended the zone on the 2-2 count. And blew the fastball by him high and away. So Kimbrell, one out away from picking up save number 10. Again, he has blown seven saves in this uh, 2018 playthrough or play along. Akuna, a very dangerous base run, will be off on contact. And Ender Insignarte, the leadoff batter, who is one for four, comes to the plate. He's batting 308 off righties. Embry's ready in the pen, but he will not be coming in. We'll actually sit him down. Kimbrell nods his head. He deals to Insignarte. Swing and a miss! Strike three! The Red Sox win 5-4 to four and another close one here at Fenway. And Kimbrell gets save number 10. What a ball game. So after hitting Acuna, he gets a fly out and two strikeouts and his 10th save. The Red Sox now go to 30 wins and 23 losses and will stay tied unless Tampa Bay loses today. And I'll show you the standings as it's a tight race 
in the American League East after the ball game. We'll show you that. Player of the game, Chris Sales. And Sale was sailing along, sailing, you know, until the seventh, where it all fell apart for Sale. And I might go with a different player of the game. Let me just take a look here. Nothing really jumps out at me. Um, Devers! He had the one hit, the two-run blast. So I'll, I'll, I'll stick with Sale. He did fall apart sort of in the top of the seventh. Sale is now five and three. He went six and two-thirds, having a very unsale. Actually, it's pretty much mimicked, except for... I'm gonna, We'll check out his stats. Again, we're ahead. We're way ahead. I'm trying to stay a month ahead of the real season. And these aren't the actual lineups. You know, again, the, the transactions happen. Teams, the computer will make trades. I can pick up players. I did pick up Zach Duke, a good lefty, in my opinion, off of his stat numbers. Uh, they're trying to sneak him through waivers to send him down. And I claimed him. <laughs> so... Uh, sale, six and two-thirds, two hits, two runs. They were both earned. Walk one, struck out nine. He threw 93 pitches. Anytime I've gone over, the only time I've gone over where we had some success was when he almost threw the no-hitter. And that got broken up with a two-run homer in the top of the ninth. The Orioles did that. So I'm really sticking close to that pitch count as he has struggled. Uh, you know, he gets that sixth inning and he starts to struggle. He's been bombed out a couple of times, too. That's why he's at 3.99 earned run average. Anyway, and then Barnes gets a hold. That's his fifth of the year. He got he, went, he pitched two-thirds, two hits, two runs. Uh, they were both earned. A little scary for Barnes, to be honest with you. And Kimbrell, he went uh, an inning and two-thirds, so we're pretty much got to rest him the next game. And he gets his tenth save. He gave up uh, one hit. He did hit a batter, and he struck out three. Red Sox win 5-4. They are 30 and 23. The Braves dropped to 25 and 27. Uh, Mookie Betts one for four with two ribbies. Ben Detendi 0 for four with a run scored. He struck out twice. Betts struck out once. J.D. Martinez one for four with a K. Devers one for four. Two run blast to dead center. Uh, he scored a run. He also struck out once. Bogarts 0 for three with a walk. Nunez continues to hit well. Two for four with a run scored. Again, I, Pedroia came in to play defense. He is not hitting the ball. Um, Ramirez was 0 for 4. We'll give Moreland the start next game. Um, not necessarily you'll see it, but the next game I play. And he struck out twice. Moreland came in to play defense in the bottom, on top of the ninth. JBJ, 1 for 3, a run scored. A big RBI struck out once. And Sandy Leone, the catcher, 1 for 2 is one hit. An infield hit, beat it out, and he struck out once he scored a run. The Braves in defeat in Seniarte, one for five with a run um, scored. He K'd. Marquecas, 0 for three with an RBI. He had a sack fly. He had a strikeout. Uh, Freeman, two for three with a run scored. Albies, one for three, a run scored an RBI. He struck out once. Suzuki, one for four. He got caught twice with the other K. Swanson, one for three, and they made three errors. Uh, two errors. Okay, I'm sorry. Two errors. Uh, and the, the Swanson one was costly. And they, they got unearned runs, and that's the difference in the ball game. Red Sox won 5-4 in the one unearned run. So Swanson had two RBIs, one for three, one walk, one K. Acuna, 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Camargo, 0 for 4. He struck out twice. And the hat trick for strikeouts goes to Carrera. One for four, runs scored. He struck out three times. The Boston Red Sox eked out a 5-4 to four win versus the Braves at Fenway. Uh, nobody did more than pitcher Chris Sale. Well, Kimbrell did good. Sale is player of the game. He got the win, Sale. Uh, Kimbrell got the save. The Red Sox have won four in a row and will maintain at least a first-place tie, depending what the uh, Tampa Bay Rays do. Devers had a big two-run blast to start off the scoring for the Red Sox. Uh, Boston manager Al, Red Sox fan, that's me. Say what you want about this team. They play nine innings hard. They do. That's the way I make my teams. Actually, I pretty much inherited the team because it's a playthrough. Alrighty, so let's leave the game here. and Let's quickly go to the standings. What did Tampa Bay do? Where's Tampa Bay? Maybe they didn't play today. 
All right, so let's do finish today. So up next for the Red Sox, a game I'll play offline. Rick Porcello at four and four will take on Marco Estrada, and uh, who's three and three in Fenway. So it'll be the Blue Jays at the Red Sox. None of these games most likely will be shown because we're pretty much only showing Chris Sale starts. Uh, all right, so let's save the game. We'll quickly look at the standings and call it a stream. I'd like to thank uh, Anthony from Bleacher Bums Gaming, Kenny Price, D. Scott Howard, Alan Shaw. And Max Cornelius, thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. Remember to check out Bleacher Bums Gaming with Anthony, a uh, wonderful channel, and also Max Cornelius' channel, as well as other friends of the channel and related. Check out my page. You can see them, who's related and who's uh, featured. And also check out their uh, channels that they subscribe to. All right, so now let's go to standings. And Tampa Bay lost because we have a one-game lead. So the Red Sox, 30 and 23, have a one-game lead over the Rays, who are 28 and 23. Two games over Toronto, who are 28 and 25. And the Yankees are three out, 27 and 26. The Orioles have pooped the bed. They are 14 and a half games back. In the Central, the Cleveland Indians have a seven-game lead over the Twins, as the Indians are 35 and 16. Out west in the American League, the Houston Astros are 33 and 21, a two-game lead over the surprising Mariners, uh, who are 30 and 22, only two back, followed by the A's, who are six and a half back at 26 and 27. In the National League, the Washington Nationals have a five-game lead over the Mets, which it's kind of reverse in real life, as the Nationals have struggled. The Mets, uh, Braves, and Phillies have all played pretty well in real life, and the Phillies are pooping the bed here at 10 and a half back. The Cubs have a six-game lead over the Reds in, uh, in the National League Central. And the Dodgers have a one-game lead over the Diamondbacks. And the Colorado Rockies are in third place, nine and a half games back. Let's go to our channel page, our Red Sox page here. Devers leads the, leads the Red Sox with a 327 batting average. Devers leads in homers with 17 and RBIs with 47. Nunez leads with six stolen bases. Rick Porcello leads the team in earned run average at 3.84, followed by Sale, 3.99. And that's been coming down each start. So Sale's starting to get in a rhythm here, hopefully, for the Red Sox in this playthrough play along. Uh, sales in wins, 5, and strikeouts, 76. Innings pitched, Rick Porcello, 70 and a third. Um, what else do we want to look at? Oh, let's look at lead, league, 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 speak of the English now, leaders. I forgot how, oh, I think we have to go to st statistics. So, leading the American League, combined, let's do American League. Is Herschel Powell batting 370? Wow. Followed by uh, Jose Abreu, 366. Devers and Nunez are 5 and 6 for the Red Sox, as Devers is 327 and Nunez is 325. Home runs, 19. Josh Donaldson uh, for Toronto, and that's followed by Miguel Sano, uh, 18. Devers is 4th with 17. RBIs. Matt Chapman for Oakland, 49, as you can see. And Devers is third with 47. I don't care about the other stats. These are the important stats to me. I don't care about that other stuff. Everyone else is infatuated with those stats. I'm not. Runs knocked in are very important. You score runs, you win games. I don't need all the other stats. I really don't. <laughs> if a team's knocking in runs, that means people are getting on base. I don't need to be told who gets on base. It's just obvious. So, As Max Green, this is fun game to watch. Thank you. Uh, Anthony from Bleacher Bums Gaming says good game too. I will put the website in on the page later, uh, Kenny, for you. So check that out later. It'll load up a little later, but I will. You're looking for um, stadiums, right? Okay. There's a couple of sites I'll put on there for you, Kenny. No problem. Uh, let's go to the National League now. And so in our... Play along, play through. We're at May 28th. 
So once we get into June, before June, I'm going to do a full recap, I guess. I'm actually kind of doing that now, but not as long. But I just felt like going through the stats. So in the National League, Justin Turner for the Dodgers is batting 361. My God, look look at the clean shavenness of that. He's the guy with the beard. That's the Orioles pitcher. I think he's the guy who plays third, right? Yeah, he's the guy, the wild man with the beard. So he's batting 361. And he's at, um, how funny is that? The next guy who's tied at 361, so there's actually two. So Justin Turner for the Dodgers and Trey Turner for the Washington Nationals at 361. Wow. Leading the league in the National League in homers is Nolan Ariando, 16. Followed by uh, Eugenio Suarez for Cincinnati at 15. 44 RBIs for Joey Votto for the Reds. And then A.J. Pollock, 40. Why his pitcher didn't load, I don't know. So that's interesting. To check out the pitching now. We'll stay in the National League and go back to the American League. Earned run average at a 1.44. He thinks he's pitching in 1968 is Patrick Corbin for the Arizona Diamondbacks. And then uh, for St. Louis, Luke Weaver, 1.85. And they have Clayton Kershaw, 1.95. So three pitchers uh, below uh, ERA of two. Wins, Patrick Corbin, he's 8-0. We might have to do one of his games um, on the channel. Wow, he's 8-0. And John Lester for Chicago has eight wins, so they're tied. What's Lester's record? Lester's eight and one with an ERA of 2.98. Leading the league in losses, something you don't want to do. Johnny Cueto, he's 0 and 9. That's an ouch. Followed by Samarjic for San Francisco. He's lost nine games, too. Saves 15 go to Sean Doolittle, Dr. Doolittle. For the Washington Nationals. And then Morrow for the Cubs has 15. He's second. Where's strikeouts? Complete games. War. I don't care. Everyone likes that stat too. I really don't care. Earned run average. <laughs> they have all these stats now. You know, basic stats, I test. That's how I do baseball. Uh, strikeouts, Noah Syndergaard, 88. All right, let's do the American League, and we'll call it a stream. So pitching in the American League, earned run average, 2.70. You can see the big difference with the designated hitter. And that is Chris Archer, who's 5-5. Five and five. He's followed by Sonny Gray of the Yankees, 2.88. Wins, Colin McHugh. With C7 and 3. And he, and then you also have Danny Salazar for Cleveland, who is 7 and 2. So they're tied for on a third. And Justin Verlander for Houston is 7 and 3. So three uh, gentlemen tied with wins. Probably McHugh has it because he only has the one law. Uh, no, he's got three losses, though. So really three gentlemen tied, obviously. Uh, losses, James Shields. He is 0 and 8. Ouch. Saves. Ken Giles for Houston. He has 15. The next is Joe Jimenez for Detroit with 14 strikeouts. Danny Salazar with 77. Well, thank you very much for watching. This is Al Red Sox fan saying until next time. Hope you enjoyed the stream, obviously. Um, let's keep growing the channel in the community. Enjoy your Sunday. I'll be back. I'll stream a couple more things. I don't know what I'm going to stream yet. So I like I just what I feel. So I also have my heavyweight tournament back up and running. Joe Lewis versus Joe Bugner. If you're into that, it's up on the channel now. Check that out, and check out our good friends of the channel who are related or uh, featured. So thank you very much for watching. Till next time, health and happiness. Take care. Bye bye. God bless. Have a happy Sunday. Don't swing at the curveball in the dirt. And most of all, peace.